know if my mic is in my helmet. I think it fell out. But hopefully y'all can hear me. So, why did I buy this 2020 Yamaha R3 for my first motorcycle? Instead of getting a used R3 or Ninja 300 that's half the price and riding it for a couple of months and then upgrading. The number one reason is I was impatient. I didn't have enough to buy a used bike in cash along with all of my gear. I didn't have enough money for a used bike to pay in cash, all of my gear, and the MSF course to get my license. But I wanted a bike right in that moment. So I, I didn't want to wait. And the, the only other alternative is to put a down payment on a new bike and then finance it. And that's what I did. So, But why did I start on a 300 then? I originally wanted to start on a 600. I wanted the ZX6R. That was my favorite bike, the 636. It's my dream bike. But I don't like the new model after 2018. I like the older generation. But that's not the reason why I didn't start in a 600. The reason I didn't get a 600 is because my dad didn't want me to start with that much power. Rightfully so, it is a lot of power for your first bike. And I was only 19 at the time. I'm 20 now, I just turned 20. I've had this R3 for like three, four months now. Yeah, three, four months now. Um, so yeah, he said, I get a 300 or I don't ride until I, uh, until I move out, basically. He also was skeptical about me starting on a used bike because he didn't want me to have something that might have problems or something that wasn't safe for me to ride. So they just wanted me to be safe, get a used bike, I mean, get a new bike, get a 300 and something that bike that's light, not too fast, that I could just learn on. So that's what I did. And I don't regret it. I'm actually happy he made me do that because I think, I think this is the right way to do it now that I look at it. So I think it'll help me out in the future and I, like, I'll definitely look back on it and be, and be glad he did that because I still have a lot of time to have a bunch of bikes in the future and shit like that. So I have my, my time to experiment with all kinds of bikes, but I think the main, the main thing that I wanted a 600 for, like the main selling point for me was the, the sound of the engine because it sounds so much better than than the smaller displacement bikes because they're a two cylinder and and how the engine is built and shit like that so the 600 just sounds so good to me when you put a slip on on it and it's not the same with the smaller displacement bike so that was the main reason that I wanted a bigger bike and it's still the reason I want a bigger bike but I love this bike man this is such a good bike so that's why I bought a 2020 R3 instead of a used bike like everyone says you should do for your first bike and i haven't dropped it yet knock on wood so but yeah i was just impatient that's the primary reason i was impatient i wanted to finance it didn't want to wait and do i wish i waited for for when I had enough money saved up for a used bike? No, I don't I don't think I do. I don't regret buying a new bike because this bike is awesome. Like it it looks good, it sounds it sounds alright. But I don't think I would have been happy with the Ninja 300 or the older generation R3 for too long. Just because this R3 looks so good for what it is. So I think I made the right decision. 
can't go back now anyways yeah I'm actually really happy with it and then eventually I'll upgrade my dream bike is the 2015 anniversary ZX6R love that bike it looks so good sounds amazing hopefully in like a year or two we can look back on this video when I have that bike and be like this is where I manifested it so yeah don't be surprised if you see me on that bike somewhere down the line from here because that is the goal and then after that bike well I'll probably keep that bike I don't know we'll see I think a BMW S1000 RR, the 2020 and after because I don't like the the headlights on the previous models but like in in like five years I can see myself on a 2020 S1000 like a used one and I think the main reason it sounds good there's a lot of like it comes with a lot of different technology and shit like that but the main reason is that uh what's it called I forgot cruise control bro cruise control that I feel like that would be so cool to have yeah five years from now catch me on the S1000 RR bro but like two years from now a 636 2015 anniversary if I could find one I'll probably overpay for that too but hey man I'm living my dream out here uh, fuck, fuck the haters if I overpay for I overpay for it that wraps up the video man if we want to recap I was impatient my dad didn't want me in a 600 he didn't want me on a used bike and the Ninja 400 was pretty ugly to me the seating position felt kind of weird and the R3 just looks beautiful, beautiful. So that's what I did. <laughs>